uh, you know what? Your mother can snoop on whatever she wants, Christopher. It really doesn't make no never mind. She's been snooping her whole life. She talks about being, I don't want to be Raymond's mother. She's like Raymond's mother times 80. Now listen. What was that picture of Raymond's mother you had with those? Uh, yeah, the crows, crows. The crows of doom. Oh, well, so if you watched... Something you made? Or yeah, I'm, Lena and me designed that. We have our own little Photoshop that we use. Listen, yeah, so Lena, yeah. today is Cunt Day. National <laughs> Cunt Day, right? Because Nelly stopped in and she was talking about that cunt OG, right? That lets me off the hook. Uh, Christopher was just saying that his mother was a cunt. <laughs> Oh, don't get him in trouble. Well, you said it really, Lena. Yes, but he laughed. Yes, he did. Because Lena used that great uh, neck massager that she loves, and uh, she remembered to use it this morning. And uh, don't you feel great? Yeah, it unblocked all my all my fibromyalgia is now gone. It's like the sun came out. I used it for only 20 minutes, and it was great. Yep, she sat up like a normal human being and put it on her back and did some deep breathing and talked a little to Christopher and, you know, and uh, discussed the day's events. Mm -hmm. By the time 20 minutes went by, it didn't even feel like 20 minutes. Her back feels wonderful and beautiful. She knew she loved this machine. It is a very special machine, cost about $40, worth every penny. So what did she do? She got one of them for Christopher's mother. Mm-hmm for her birthday back in July, July, July. Go ahead. Christopher's mother threw it back in her face within a week. Mm -hmm. I don't want this, take it. Now, she could have given it to anyone else in the family. Brand new thing, right? Mm -hmm. Brand new massage machine. She could have saved the box if she didn't just really think she was going. She knew she was going to throw that back at you. She knew she was going to throw that back at you, despite what you might want to believe. No, I believe it. She throws out all... She either gives away all the gifts I give her or she throws them back at me to let me know that she didn't want them from me. Mm -hmm. That I don't pick out good gifts. Even though her husband says all the time that Lynn picks out... Does, doesn't your father say Lynn picks out the greatest gifts? Oh, yeah. He says it every every Christmas. He tells... He, Chris comes home and, he, and his father said to him again, Lynn used to give the greatest gifts. I really miss Lynn at Christmas time. Her gifts are great. Mm -hmm. Right, so Chris's mother threw it back at you and the stupid cunt didn't even save the box so that maybe you could return a $40, $50 item to Amazon. It's all right, your son paid for it, net. Lena didn't pay for that shit. That went directly on your son's credit card. So you threw it back at him. Anyway, I think Stephen will like that thing. All right, so we're going to give it to either Stephen, Olivia, or if they don't want it, Chris is bringing it back over there at Christmas time, and he's just laying it under the tree. Those are John, Those are John's orders. He's bringing it, putting a bow around it because it's brand new. And he's laying it under the tree and saying, whoever wants this may have it. This is from Lynn and John. And me, since it went on my credit card. Right. And Jeanette, if you're watching this video, and you probably are, I don't enjoy calling anybody a cunt. It's really a disgusting word for a woman. Mm -hmm. In fact... I don't equate it with a woman. I equate it with some kind of, you know, just a nasty thing. John uses the word a lot. Sometimes he calls me a cunt if I deserve it. I never mind when he does because it keeps me in check. It also makes me laugh because I know that with me, he says it with love always. <sighs> The things you do come back and bite you, Jeanette. Mm -hmm. now, I wanted to love you as a mother figure, and you made it impossible for me to do so. I hope you learned something from these videos, from all this snooping around that you do. It's a very dishonest way to communicate, but you've never communicated with me honestly really so this is the way you have to get it you and mildred ben bergen can snoop on my videos right mm -hmm. and and compare notes 
Dr. Mildred. What is that? Like, Dr. fucking who? <laughs> Mildred's a doctor now? A doctor of what? A doctor of retardation? Because <laughs> she knows so much about it? You know, and it speaks volumes that she is your confidant now and she is your best friend. You ended up with somebody that you really don't like or never liked as far as I could see that you said some things about her was, you know, when me and Christopher got married, I said, well, we'll invite uh, the Van Bergens, right? You guys are close with them. Jeanette Whitting, Christopher's mother said, I no, they cannot come to this wedding. The reason she had carte blanche to say that was it was being held at her house in the country, Jeanette and Ted's house, my in-laws house in long on long Island, right where Mildred lives. I said, really? Because Chris is in a band with them and everything. You, you wouldn't invite them? I mean, Teddy's married to a Van Bergen. She was like, no, I want to have one wedding in my family where those people are not there. Do not invite them. I don't want them there. You And she basically said, I couldn't invite them. Mm -hmm. They were not invited to this wedding. No, no, this is my party. And I don't want, it wasn't my wedding. It wasn't Christopher's wedding. It was Jeanette's party. And at the party, she stole all the food. My father, my biological father catered it. And Nettie squirreled all the f catered food away to eat the next day by herself mm -hmm. with her sister. All that food was like, people were still hungry at that wedding. My father catered, like, I, I picked out the banquet at a local place. It cost about $400. Not exorbitant, but it was beautiful. There was all different kinds of dishes. And I was thinking, why is there only just celery sticks on the table now after, you know, it didn't seem like that food was out for very long. And Jeanette, you took all that food and you, you hid it away from the guests so that you could eat it for the next couple of days. It didn't even last you that long. You fell on it like a vulture right away, I remember. Then you got rid of me and Christopher by sending us to a bed and breakfast so that you could fucking have a big party with the rest of that food. You, your sister, and your husband. Like a bunch of weirdos. That's what you did. You think that nobody sees the things that you do. But I see everything. And so what I don't see, John catches. And what we don't catch, your son definitely sees. But he loves you. And so he has that unconditional acceptance of you. That's something I'm still working on. Especially the way you've treated me over the years. I wish you only the best. I hope you make it to the other side safely. You have a lot of work to do and not a lot of time to do it in. God and Mother bless you. Do your best from here on in. John, that's why you're you. <laughs>